What is comparative negligence, and how will it affect my auto injury case? Attorney Michael Sohn explains, In South Carolina, the rule is comparative negligence. Even if a plaintiff is partially negligent, that plaintiff can still recover if their negligence does not exceed the negligence of others. Their recovery will, however, be reduced in proportion to the plaintiff's negligence. For example, if a plaintiff is 30% at fault or negligent and one defendant is 70% at fault and damages as determined by a jury are $100,000, the plaintiff would get a verdict for $70,000 from the defendant. You might be thinking about how one would determine the percentage of fault. The answer is that the legal system just punts. The case is put on by both the plaintiff's side and the defense. Witnesses are called and arguments are made. Then the jury is told the rule, that they have to determine how much each party was at fault, and they come up with an answer. So, they ignore how hard the question is, and they come up with an answer, because eventually they will tire of deliberating. There are a few wrinkles to the comparative negligence rule, though. 50% or 51%. The rule in South Carolina is that the plaintiff's negligence must not exceed that of the defendant, i.e., in a case where a jury determines that the plaintiff and defendant split fault exactly 50-50, the plaintiff gets 50% of damages. If the plaintiff is the least little bit more at fault than the defendant, the plaintiff is barred from recovery. This rule is called the 51% bar, rather than the 50.00000001% bar, because 51% bar is easier to say. What happens when there are multiple parties? In multi-party suits, the plaintiff's negligence must not exceed the combined negligence of the defendants. So, even if there is no defendant individually responsible for 51% of the negligence, the plaintiff's claim is not barred. Is it an affirmative defense, or is the burden on the plaintiff? It turns out that, although contributory negligence was treated as a defense, comparative negligence generally acts as a burden on the plaintiff. In South Carolina, the burden is on the plaintiff to prove that the defendant was negligent by a preponderance of the evidence. The defendant can, of course, offer evidence that they were not negligent, but they can also offer evidence that the plaintiff was negligent as well. Contact attorney Michael Sawn in Charleston, South Carolina today. He provides clients with aggressive and skilled representation in some of the most difficult legal situations.